Listen, what? She tried to run. Babe, don't show me my boss spot. It's going to make you look bad. No. no, it's not. Yes, it is. Why, why you want to show people what you did to me? I didn't bless you. You try to run. Yeah, because I had the phone. Instead of, you didn't want me to see what was in your phone. Of, you didn't want to see me. You didn't want me to see what was in your phone. Show me that fucking bathroom door that you broke down. Like, this is cat. Fuck the boss spot. Let's see the rampage. Come on, come on, let's go. Let me you. Come on, hurry up she tried to get my phone and run yeah, in the you bathroom. Were, yeah, you broke that shit Yeah, yeah. We not playing that. Okay, what the fuck? She tried to get my phone and run in the bathroom. What? Like, this motherfucker off the hand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, stop playing. You are not niggas. You are not coons. You may smoke reef and drink wine and do crazy, wicked things. But you are not a wicked person by nature. You have lent yourself to wickedness. But you are a divine creature that must now come into the knowledge and power of your own divinity. And no creature can resurrect you into your divinity. It takes God himself to bring you into your own divine nature. So we're not dealing with prophets. We have walked out of prophets teaching. This is the time and the presence of God. So I don't talk about God will come. God is already here. And he's working in me to resurrect you to your divine nature. What's up, what's up, class? Come on in, guys. Hit that like button on the way in and subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. Also, keep in mind, don't forget we got the new school state of the art over at the Daily Good Bread channel. So go subscribe to that channel as well and check it out. It's all short form content, you know what I mean? Binge watchable content, guys. All right, guys, well, we here. We got our most foolish couple, you know, the, our foolish couple, guys. We got Blueface. And Krishan, you know what I mean? This shit is crazy, guys. And this is getting real toxic. This is that toxic couple. This is that Bobby and Whitney. This is that Ike and Tina. Holly will always give you that toxic-ass couple. And they, they push it and push it in front of us. And they, they get the people thinking that that's, that's cool. And magically, this couple never gets police involved. Never, I mean, never never go through the ringer like how the other couples that really have really have victims and domestic violence these motherfuckers get to show us this toxic shit and this toxic behavior uh all they want all they want toxic relationship like, be that, like that Check it out. Y'all see this 10 second clip on this motherfucking app, and y'all like come up with all these theories and weirdo type conversations. So let me break the news for you guys. Rock is in jail for trespassing. She's not in jail for hitting me, touching me, anything I got to do with me. Be in the middle of the street, she take my phone and run into a closed bar. I mean, she take the phone and start running. I'm not even finna chase after her. So, homie, tell the homie, hey, go get my phone, bro. She swing on him two times. She like, bro, I'm not, I'm not fucking with that. I'm like, all right. Go into the closed bar. Hey, we're closed. You guys can't be in here. I'm telling her, come on, let's go. That's why I'm grabbing her. We gotta get out of here. She's so worried about my phone. She hiding under the bar stools and doing all type of weird freak theatrical stuff. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So you get mad about what she's seeing on the phone, hit me. Boom. Oh, oh, you're all right. I'm not tripping. She just hit me right here. And she stand up, hit me with a two piece. Boom, boom. I'm like, oh, I'm not even. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm not even finna 
make the same mistake twice and try to look like, fight with you. So I go to the bathroom. She chases me into the bathroom. I'm like telling the security, like, yo, bro, y'all just gonna let her, like, you know, fuck me up, like, get her. Let me wipe my face because I'm. I go in the bathroom. I come out. I guess she starts fighting the security. They put her down and shit. Nothing I could do, bro. She get off that hand and she, she gets. She gets wild, man. Shit. I know y'all want it to be my fault so bad. But I'm sorry. All I know is the truth, man. I do nothing. Now, as y'all just seen in that clip, man, pretty much he responded because he was getting a lot of backlash on social media. He pretty much said that she did all that because, you know, um, I guess she seen something in the phone again, like just like the first situation. But Krishan Rock, if y'all don't know, you know, she's known for hands. Like she's putting a pause on everybody that I done seen her fight. I'm not going to lie. She can fight for a girl. Like, I don't know if that sounds crazy, but yeah, man, pretty much. Hey, don't show me my boss fight. It's going to make you look bad. No. no, it's not. Yes, it is. Why, why do you want to show people what you did? Like, you want to mean? I didn't do that to you. You try to run. You know yeah, because I had the phone. Instead you, of, you ain't want me to see what was in your phone. Of, you ain't want to see me. What, instead, you ain't want me to see of, what was in your phone. Instead of no. struggling, show me that fucking bathroom bitch. Like, door. Like, 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 like,
foolish him. Yeah, guys, if you can see that right there, that's her brother. That's her brother right there. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Uh, right now. All right. There you go. That's about it. That's the biggest I can make it. But this is her brother. Krishan Rock's older brother speaks on Krishan Rock and Blueface relationship. Krishan, I love you so much and over here hurting about you. I don't say nothing wasn't going to, going. I, I don't say nothing wasn't going to until you introduced us in person because the shit he be doing on the internet to you, come on, Krishan. I grew up in and out of prison. I won't mind throwing all my freedom away forever for you. You my baby sister. You our baby sister. Our father raised us to protect our sisters at all costs. You the youngest one. I know you love Blue. I just want to ask him, do he love you? I can't play about you no more, Krishan. I see y'all soon. You not a clown. You my princess. You our princess. And I'm proud of you too, Sean. And that's what he had to say about his sister and this toxic guy's relationship. Let's read some of the comments. But this is sad that the modern woman put men in predicaments like this. This is this is another situation that could get ugly where the black woman, the modern black woman, and her behavior and her choices and her decision making now, because she is not innocent, she's not vi she's not a victim. We just seen her outside in the street we just did a video on her outside in the street pulling on him and being physical being abusive and domestic so she's not a victim but you got your brother now who all he gonna see is the stuff that happened to you so now he gonna be put himself in harm way so now that's black on black that's two men going going at it over a woman see what i mean guys let's see what some of the comments say on this shit if you brother ain't feeling your man trust me that's something to take seriously i can hear the sincerity in this post no lie yeah i bet because that's all they care about is people rooting for the victim and coming to people's defense coming to bad behavior defense you know what i mean a rewarding bad behavior it's heartwarming to let Krishan know that they care about her she probably doesn't speak to anybody in her family. However, nobody can change her situation but her. That's a whole fact. You know what I mean? Even if she doesn't listen, it's good to hear someone step up and say something. Uh, the reason I stopped beating up my sister's boyfriend is because they keep going back. So I stay out of it now. Sucks to say, but they just have to go through something so bad that they'll get out of it hopefully it won't be too late facts that's my vibe that's how i see it he just tired of people clowning her and them all over the blogs because he could have took her to the side and ben said something a lot of big brothers or sisters would have already stepped to him nah see that that i mean and it's true a lot of them would have stepped to him and it wouldn't have been in the right would have definitely not been in the right, but it is true that a lot of big brothers would have stepped to him. You know what I mean? And they are a whole fool for that. You stay out of that. If you can't tell her how to make better decisions, then you can't come to her defense, yo. What's wrong with you niggas? What's wrong with you niggas? Hit like, hit subscribe. You know what I mean? Drink, drink responsibly. Wrap up, strap up. You know what I mean, guys? Don't play with your life. And stay away from bitches like this and bitch niggas like Blueface, bro. They dangerous. They toxic. They need therapy, bro. They need help. They need help. You know what I mean? Only two things can get you through this, man. That's patience and persistence. My life is telling me for me. Don't let anybody speed up my process. I don't care what's happening out there. That's, that's, that's the great thing about... You know, having ultimate confidence in yourself is it doesn't matter what's happening. I don't care what's happening. I don't care what you are on or this person's on. This is what I and, you know, I thought I was ready in 97. Right. And I didn't have a major record company marketing to promote my project till 2003. Right. You know, so for that time period, I had to be 
run on my own energy. You know, I had to convince myself that uh, I'm gonna make it. You know, regardless of how people felt at the at that time. And what what it does is it makes it makes you feel like, well, it made me feel like um, there's gonna be points that people are gonna mistake my confidence for arrogance because I've had to 